Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps to fix RD web app issue which exists in Windows Server 2022 if you have selected RDS quick start deployment. The problem is RD web is not accessible on new Windows Server 2022 with quick start RDS deployment. In the last video, we learned how to deploy RDS services on Windows Server 2022 using quick start deployment method. We have also tested that remote desktop services works fine but not remote app via RD web. This is our member server where we have deployed remote desktop services using quick start deployment method. First, let me show you the error. Open Microsoft Edge web browser, type URL https colon double slash localhost slash rdweb and hit enter key. The exit error is this site can't be reached, error SSL key usage incompatible. Until Windows Server 2019, RDWeb was successfully working with self-signed certificates, but not anymore by default. On RDS Server, open Internet Information Services Manager. Open SAW Manager, click on Tools and select IIS Manager. Let me maximize it. Click on Local Server Name. Double click on Service Certificates. We can see the existing self-signed certificate which was generated automatically while we deployed RTS services. Double click on the existing self-signed certificate. As we can see, the certificate is not trusted but trusted root CA. And even if you add this certificate to the trusted root CA store, the RD web will still not work. To fix this issue, you just have to create a new self-signed certificate and bind it to the IIS site. Let me close it. Under Actions, click on Create Self-Signed Certificate. Type a friendly name for this certificate. For example, RDS Self-Signed Certificate. Click OK to generate a self-signed certificate. We can confirm that the new self-signed certificate has been generated successfully. Expand Local Server, Expand Sites, and click on default website. Under edit site, click on bindings. Select HTTPS and click on edit. Click on drop down and select the newly created self-signed certificate. We can identify the certificate by looking at the certificate friendly name. In our case, we have to select RDS self-signed certificate. After selecting the correct certificate, click OK. Click on close. You can restart the IIS web service. To do so, under Manage, click on Restart. Let's go back to Microsoft Edge web browser. Let me close this tab and let's open new tab. Type URL as RPS colon double slash localhost slash rdweb and hit enter key. And this time, the site will be accessible. Since we are using self-signed certificate, we are receiving this error. But if I type URL HTTPS colon double slash srt22-srv01.msftwebcast.com slash rdweb and hit enter key. If I type this URL, we won't be seeing that self-signed certificate error. Type user1 at msftwebcast.com and type user's password and click on sign in. Now let me click on never. By default, a quick session collection was created upon installation that contains calculator, wordpad and paint as remote apps. This can be used to test a RDS deployment. So user can successfully access remote apps and desktops using RD web access. To test this, let's go back to our domain controller VM. Uh, let me hit enter key. Click on advance, click on continue to our server. Let's enter username, user1 at msftwebcast.com 
Type user's password and click on sign in. Click on calculator to download the RDP file. Click on keep and click on open file. Click on connect. This will ask for the username. Already user one is selected. So let's enter user one's password and click on OK. Wait for the connection to establish successfully. First time we have to wait for a few seconds before opening the session and opening the application. We can see the notification connected to remote apps and desktops. The calculator application is running from the RTS server. In the taskbar, we can see that on the icon of this application, a round logo is displayed to indicate that it was launched from an RDS server. This is I'm talking about. And if we take our pointer over there, at the top of the application, you can see application name which is calculator and it is running from our srt 22 an srv onemsftwebcastcom server. This means now remote apps with RDWeb are working as configured. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.